Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of February 26th to March 3rd, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what's the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week. Scorpio. Let's get three shuffles. One. Two. One more shuffle for Scorpio. All right, three. What's the energy of Scorpio? All right, so we have Page of Cups. We also have Hierophant in Reverse, the Death card. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles in Reverse, Seven of Wands in Reverse. Also Ace of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. Wow. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, look at you, like, Queen of Cups in Reverse, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. You're, like, emotionally unavailable um, to this person, at least, that, that wants to fix things with you. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go again with this sad story. Look at this, Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Someone's sad, depressed, lonely. They feel lost without you. They feel empty without you. They want a second chance with the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to apologize um, to you with the Page of Cups. Um, they realize that they were wrong. Um, in this time that you two have been apart from each other, they realize that they didn't value you the way you deserve to be valued. And they want to make amends with you. They feel a lot of love for you. They feel like they love you. And they want to fix the relationship here with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, you are emotionally checked out. I want to look at you. Actually, I don't know what you are. So let me just clarify that. I mean, you do have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So you are definitely um, protecting your feelings. Protecting, like, not your feelings. Protecting your heart. Guarding your heart, hiding your feelings. Well, what are your feelings? Let's take a look at that. All right, tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Connected to Scorpio spirit. What can you tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse? The Two of Cups in reverse. You feel a massive disconnect between you and this person. And a very big emotional disconnect. You feel like this person's not the one for you. They're not the right person for you. They're not the right relationship for you. You feel like you're better off alone. You're better off being single with the Nine of Pentacles. Or like single from this person, from this relationship. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you feel like there's no stability. There's no security. There's no commitment. All right, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles connected to Scorpio spirit. Four of Pentacles, yeah, like I said, you're protecting your heart, you're guarding yourself, you're protecting your energy, you don't feel safe with this person, you don't feel like you can trust this person, especially with your heart. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles. 
justice. Oh. You feel like this person is very one-sided and you're, you're looking for an equal partnership. You feel like this person doesn't really care about you. They don't really care about you. Don't, they don't really care about this relationship with you. So you're all about um, your relationship with yourself now. That's what you're focusing on. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. You feel like this person breadcrumbs you or you feel like they, ha they have breadcrumbed you. It, it kind of looks like you fell for it in the past, but you're not falling for it anymore. You already know that all this person offers is breadcrumbs, nothing more, nothing less. <clears throat> What's the death card? Some of you are more focused now on your money, your career, your work, your personal stability. Tell me about the death card connected to Scorpio. The moon. You just want to heal from this with the moon card. Um, you are experiencing, you know, hurt still. Like, you still have a lot of hurt feelings. You still feel really disappointed and betrayed and let down. Um, but that's something that you are wanting to actively work on right now. Um, detaching yourself emotionally, detaching yourself from this person and basically healing yourself. You feel like that's what, that's what you need to do. You feel like that's the best um, route to take right now. It feels like a solo journey. I feel like you're ready to embark on a solo journey of, of healing and of, of you basically um, regaining your sense of control, your sense of stability and power. Hmm. All right, let's move on to this person's side of the reading now. Here we go. I'm going to get a, diff a different deck. All right, so let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Scorpio, please? Let's get three shuffles. Okay, that's one. Two. And three. All right. What is this person's energy towards Scorpio for this week? This person. Let's see. For them, we have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it kind of looks like they want to work things out with you. Three of Pentacles is all about, you know, rebuilding things. They also want to communicate with you and get on, get back on the same page with you. Tell me more about their energy. Uh, the Three of Swords. This person feels heartbroken over the separation here. Eight of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Two of Swords. Interesting. King of Pentacles with the Sun. King of Pentacles. Look at that. From the King of Cups to the King of Pentacles. What a graduation. Hmm. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. Two of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Sun. All right. Give me a second. I feel like I need to figure this person out. There's a little bit of a contradiction, I feel, in their energy. Oh, I'm going to figure it out. Eight of Cups in Reverse, Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Page of Wands in Reverse. 
Okay. I got that. Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Wands in reverse to the Justice card. I see. All right. I got it. I got it. So this person definitely was trying to get over you. All right. Well, you can't accuse them of not trying, I guess. You definitely can't accuse them of that. No. No, you can't. They, they definitely tried. They did their best. They really did. They did their best. Okay, but, you know, they also have to do their best to change. You know, that's the part that I feel like that that might not be exactly happening here. They did their best to get over you and to move on from you, but are they doing their best to change is the question. Hmm. All right. Let's dig up this person's energy. I want to start with this King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person tried to, like, you know, bury their head in their work, you know, their work, their career, um, their projects, their finances. Um, they tried to, you know, do their best to just keep themselves busy, keep themselves occupied and distracted so that they're not thinking about you, so that they're not remembering you. Um, I feel like they intentionally did their best to get you out of their energy, get you out of their mind and to, you know, fully move on from you. Yeah, they did their best to avoid any communication with you also. Or they, they did their best to avoid spying on you and keeping tabs on you. They did all of that. Hmm. I'm also getting a third party situation here because we have three of pentacles and the three of swords. I also feel like this person tried to connect to other people to either one person or more than one person. They definitely try to like create new relationships. Oh, I'm also getting like friendships. I feel like they try to create new friendships as well to, you know, fill up their, to fill up their um, life. Yeah, to fill up their life. All right. Tell me about the King of Pentacles spirit, please. You know, I feel like this person actually made a promise. That's interesting. This person made a promise that they would never return back to you. Yeah, they did. They definitely made a promise that they would never try to reconnect with you or, you know, recover their relationship with you. They made a promise. But it kind of looks like they're breaking that promise with the Three of Swords. Because I definitely feel like that you're dealing with someone here who is going to try to repair things with you. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Yeah, uh, there we go. Emperor in reverse. That's what I said. There we go. Ace of Swords in reverse. And the Page of Cups. This is a promise that they made to themselves. Yep, they definitely did. I was right. Look at this. Emperor in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. This is them basically telling themselves, I am never going to reach out to Scorpio. I am never going to try to um, make things right with Scorpio. I'm never going to I'm never going to apologize to Scorpio, no way. Um it does look like this person was coming from a place of ego here with the sun card. So yeah, they made it their mission to block you with the 2 of swords. That's interesting. Okay. All right. Drama king or drama queen. Dramatic, very dramatic energy there. Yeah, because this is this is someone playing the victim, by the way. That's that's the energy they were in here. 
They were in the energy of playing the victim. All right, what is this three of so um, three of pentacles about, spirit? Can you tell me about the three of pentacles? The devil in reverse. Hmm. Okay, tell me more about um. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles, the King of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles. Oh, Lord. Man, this person's draining. Their energy's draining. I don't, I don't understand this person. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what what's going on through their head because I just feel like this person is uh, switching things up here a lot. They're switching things up here. I feel like this person can't make up their mind. I feel like they cannot make up their mind. I keep looking over here because it doesn't, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. This person keeps switching up their point of view. They keep switching up their perspective. I feel like this person wants to make things right with you, um, even though they promised they wouldn't. But I feel like they're still carrying this energy of resentment and anger. And that's the part that doesn't make too much sense to me. You know what it is? It's connected to the Three of Swords. All right, let's look at that. Tell me about the Three of Swords connected to this person. You know what it is that they're angry about? I just got it right now. Eight of Swords in reverse is when you're getting over something. They're kind of angry at you that they weren't able to get over you. As if that was as if that's your fault. That's not your fault. But they're angry at you. They're angry at you that they weren't able to keep their promise about, you know, never returning back to you and, and getting over you. It just kind of looks like they were unsuccessful in getting over you. And it's it's something that's they're blaming you for that that they're bitter about and it's like they want to come towards you to fix things with you but it's like they're bitter deep down inside they're bitter and upset that they weren't able to get over you the way they were hoping they would and and it's like they're blaming you for that and it's going to come through you know when they try to speak to you and 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 make things right with you that energy is going to come through energy of resentment you know tell me about the three of swords six of wands to the three of wands to the queen of pentacles <clears throat> yeah that's that's what it is you know that's what it is yeah it's like this person didn't want to um they don't want to be reconciling with you. And it's almost like they don't, they don't even want to be reconciling while they're reconciling with you. While they're trying to reconcile with you, they don't want to be reconciling with you, even in, even in that moment, you know? Even in that very moment, they don't want to be doing it. I mean, this person's not possessed or anything, so I don't, I don't know why they feel so obligated to reconcile with you if they don't, if they don't want to. It's just like a fear. It's like this person just has a fear of, of you know, what would happen to me if, if, I, if I didn't have Scorpio in my life anymore. You know, it's like they have a fear of being without you. If that makes sense. Okay. 
All right, Scorpio, I'm going to stop the reading here and I'm going to continue in the extended. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions? What actions will they be taking towards you moving forward? And what will, what will the overall outcome be? For this relationship if you're interested you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and i'll see you in my next video bye guys take care